Hello everyone. My name is Michelle and I am the dedicated contact person for all visitors during the difficult time of this coronavirus COVID-19. I am available to answer questions from families, lawyers, religious service providers, and contractors. Some of you may have already received our previous message about the new rules to visits to detainees in this facility. At the moment, visits are continued, but there will be some changes due to the global pandemic. We're doing everything we can to keep everyone here safe and to prevent anyone from contracting COVID-19. However, the main risk comes from people coming into the facility. We're taking all possible steps to follow the recommendations of the authorities and the health advice that the Ministry of Health has issued for each and every person in the country. At the moment, visits are still allowed, but due to the risk of infection, we have changed the rules temporarily. Visits are now without physical contact. We know it is difficult, especially for children, but it is important that you respect this rule. Visits will be shorter so that everyone has a chance to visit. We will hold them in rounds so that our staff can clean the area as best as we can between visits. We are sorry for the inconvenience. These new rules are temporary and are in place for the next two weeks. We will review them daily based on the situation inside and outside the facility to see if anything needs to change. We will continue to immediately communicate any and all changes with you all. As an alternative, we are already increasing the availability of contact by phone and can give you the updated numbers and schedule. In addition to phones, we are exploring other possibilities like internet calls or using apps for messaging. We want to do everything we can to maintain these important ways to be connected, even if further restrictions are needed or if you are confined at home. If the situation gets worse, we may have to gradually suspend in-person visits and find other ways to connect. Temporary closure is possible in an extreme situation. While we are not there, it is important that you are informed of this possibility and that the reasons are clear so that we can all be prepared. My brother has high blood pressure and needs his medication. Can I still give them to him with these new rules? Yes, you can. These types of deliveries can still go on as planned. If any of you would like to deliver something to a detainee, please go see our colleague over there. However, if the situation gets worse, we may have to adjust these procedures too. We will only do this if public health reasons require it, and we will make sure to inform you. What about legal representation? My client has a hearing next week. I need to discuss with him. Detainees can still communicate with legal counsel in a closed visit in a private room. The usual procedures apply with additional hygienic measures that are needed to keep detainees and yourselves healthy. We will coordinate with the courts and everyone else involved so that we can maintain attendance at hearings as long as possible. We are also exploring possibilities for remote attendance. If the courts announce any changes, we will do everything we can to uphold detainees' rights. We are from the National Preventive Mechanism. We had a monitoring visit scheduled for today. Monitoring bodies and other organizations are still welcome to visit. We may need to discuss the exact logistics of your visit in order to make sure that we all follow strict hygiene precautions and don't expose anyone to further risk. I'm sure the director will be happy to speak with you. Please just wait a moment and then we'll escort you to the director's office. If one of the detainees <coughs> gets infected with the virus, we will make sure to contact the family. If you have other questions on the rules and how we are protecting your loved ones, please do not hesitate to contact me. Our health staff are here to support. We have made contingency plans and we have all received training on what to do in case of an outbreak. We are also keeping our detainees informed and up to date. In a global pandemic such as this, all of us can be affected. Again, we reassure you that we are doing the best we can to keep everyone safe and well.